<laughs> oh man, I can't believe I'm eight episodes into Scream, the MTV series. My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and this episode is entitled Ghost. And okay, let's talk about how this episode began because we see the aftermath of poor Will's death. And it was a lot more vicious than I thought it was. I mean, sure, I, I figured that his head got mangled, but when you see that his head was split in half, fuck. <laughs> and I figured after a big, huge, awesome death like that, that we wasn't going to have a death this episode. Emma's a terrible actress. She's awful. She's terrible. I know I've said this before. I know I've said this plenty of times before. But the issue here is that now that all of these characters are being killed off, we're spending so much time with Emma that it's even more apparent. And now, like, we're so far into the series that Emma is supposed to be emotional, upset, or at, at the very least sympathetic for what she's going through. But she just, she's not capable of that. She's not capable of making me care about her. She's awful. The whole time where she's supposed to be going through this traumatic stress where she's not really reacting to seeing Will die. She's just kind of like, you know, in zombie mode, robot mode. And, and just no emotion behind your face. Like, I think there was a way where you could play that and have it still work, or have it still be obvious that this is what's happening to her. But no, with this actress, she just looks like it's another day. The scene when she walks into the school, and even her two friends are like, holy hell, Emma, like, what are you doing here? Or they're like, you know, sorry for everything. And she's just like, what? <laughs> just another day. Do, 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 do. I'm like... What the fu- You're not supposed to act like nothing happened. This actress has to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This show has been renewed for a season two. Yes. My worst fears have come true. And we're going to get more of this show next year. Yay. <sighs> Honestly... I know I said that I was going to do this whole season because people like my reviews slash rants. They like seeing me tear the, the show, the episodes apart because they deserve it. But can I do this for another season? I honestly don't think I can, but you know what? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you guys want to see me review Season 2 or rant on Season 2 because I doubt it's going to get any better than this past season, let me know in the comments below. I'll, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on Season 2. But getting back into it and how horrible of an actress Emma is, she's terrible, she's awful, she's terrible. But there's more terrible with her acting coming later. Uh, we get some moments of Emma, I guess, in her head, her psychosis of seeing Will. Will with his head split in half, which was kind of a cool effect. And he's like chasing her around, the one scene in the hallway, which was very goofy. Not scary at all. Just kind of dumb. And you have uh, the 32-year-old who's supposed to be a high school kid, the sheriff's son, Karen. Who, who he keeps showing up to be there for Emma and like I, she Emma is such a dumb character too it's not just her acting but the way she's written she doesn't think that this guy's suspicious at all and now that her ex-boyfriend Will was viciously murdered she doesn't think that he had something to do with it to get Will out of the picture to get to swoop in back in there to hug up on her like he's been doing no even if he doesn't end up being the killer, even if I'm wrong for accusing him, at least have her question it so that I know she's smart and she's thinking about this. But she's not thinking about this. So that's why I view her and look at her like a fucking idiot. Remember Scream 2? We're in Sydney. Nev Campbell thought that her new boyfriend, Jerry O'Connell, was the killer or was involved and she didn't trust him. 
And sure, she was wrong, and poor Jerry O'Connell got killed for her not trusting him, but still, it made sense that she thought that. This show, nothing that Emma does makes any fucking sense. How is How are we supposed to care about her or relate to her when she does constantly dumb things? Brooke and Noah tell Jake about Will. It's the one scene where Jake is in the hospital and... Man, is this guy a horrible actor. I mean, <laughs> the jury's still out on whether Jake is the killer. Um, I think that the way that he got stabbed in the chest, the fact that he survived that, it didn't, it just went right through, didn't touch an organ. I'm like, come on, this, this screams like bullshit. It screams like something that somebody would do to not, not be looked at as a suspect if they're a victim. Uh... And him crying over Will, I'm like, come on. You really think he gave that much of a shit that Will died? I don't know. This is what I was saying last week about Brooke. Uh, on how I was liking Brooke a lot for how she was standing up to her dad. And how she was becoming, I thought, a stronger person. Or maybe just finding out more about her fucked up family made me feel bad for her. But then the fact that she's so hugged up on Jake now and she's so like with him I guess or emotional about him makes me think that she's dumb as well what Jake the same guy who right before he got stabbed was being a douchebag and a creep about how much he wanted to have sex with her before they both died I'm like okay but she gives this much of a shit about him Piper the fake Gale reporter gives the sheriff tape evidence on the mayor. And the sheriff was very weird during the scene. Like, he was... He did this also later on when Noah and Audrey gave him evidence on the teacher. Where he just has this reaction of where he's like, Oh, well, how did you get this evidence? Or how, As opposed to looking at the evidence and going like, Holy fuck, that's... Thank you, or that's that's incriminating. Let's go after this fucker. It, like, they have to talk him into going after whoever the evidence is about. I'm like, is this written that way? Or are all of these actors that bad? Fuck! Uh, that tape of Emma's dad last week, I didn't talk about it, but the fact that she heard her dad in some session talk about how could she sleep with that monster so emma finds out that her mom slept with brendan james so her mom is a slut i'm not saying that just because her mom slept with somebody besides her father that makes her a slut i'm saying that you saw the way brendan james looked like without the mask and how disfigured he was and how grotesque looking he was and the mom still slept with him that's a fucking slut. And Emma has the worst mom ever. I mean, this woman, you know, she lets Emma go off on her own, which is dumb on Emma's part, but she's also a high school girl. Not an excuse. She should be smarter than this. But why isn't her mom being more demanding on, like, no, you won't go over Will's house by your fucking self, or you're going to stay inside this house? safe with me i'm going to take time off of work i'm going to be right there to make sure nothing happens or when emma's in the hospital because she's like having psychotic breaks the mom's like oh uh you're okay by yourself right all right see you later i'll come back in the morning i'm like mom what the fuck awful the worst tv mom i think i've ever seen is emma's mom on this show we finally uh see or meet Emma's dad for the first time. Whatever. It, it didn't really do much for me, but, I mean, at least we finally met him because we've been talking about him for so long. I can't believe it took eight episodes to finally meet the fucking guy. And apparently he left because... This has been a theory that I, I've thought myself and I've seen people online talk about it. So we've all thought this we all suspected this i guess it's just finally now being revealed though that 
not only did the mom sleep with Brendan James, but she got pregnant from him. So they had a child that she gave up for adoption that's somewhere out there. She doesn't even know if it's a boy or a girl, which of course, because we don't want to give away the sex of the, of the killer. Let's now talk about, fuck it, let's get to the end. Let's get to the end of the episode, because I don't really care about Brooke's father, the mayor, being locked up, or finding out that Brooke's mom is really okay in the rehab place. And that the body in, in, in the tape was some other guy that overdosed. Like, what? Why is this bullshit here? Oh, to throw us off. Oh, to make us think that this... I don't care. It's bullshit. It's, it's such a waste of fucking time. So at the end, Brooke ends up back with the teacher. So this is, again, undoing all of that likability that I liked about Brooke. She's just sleeping with the teacher. Now, how old is Brooke? How old are these kids supposed to be? Like, is she like 16 or 17? Because that just makes this teacher look even more creepy. But okay, fine. They're hooking up in the auditorium. Like, really? I don't want to get caught. I'm the fucking teacher. So after Noah and Audrey had to almost beg the sheriff, the worst sheriff ever, to go after the teacher because they found out that he changed his name because he was sleeping with some girl at another high school that, that ended up killed. So he fled, changed his name. I mean, if that's not reason to go after somebody, I don't know what is. Now, in this scene, the teacher hears a noise and leaves Brooke there. And then all of a sudden, the curtains go by, the, the spotlight is on her, and then the killer is there in the room and chases after her and tries to kill her. And then the teacher just comes back like, oh, are you okay, Brooke? What? Oh, what's going on? I got locked out and had to go all the way around. I'm like, really? Really? Even though I don't think the teacher is a killer, I just don't. I, I don't know how much it would make sense that he's a part of unless, unless how old is the teacher? Would that, would that make sense? Maybe he's the son it wasn't terrible it wasn't the worst episode ever it wasn't boring maybe that's where it comes down to because i again ranted about a lot of things here but i just i wasn't bored a lot was going on unfortunately a lot of it had to do with emma and her horrible acting but there you go i'm pretty sure we have two episodes left i think i think you could tell i don't care because i haven't even looked up how many episodes or in this season but yeah don't forget to let me know if you want me to continue this with season two if you want to put me through this torture seriously also let me know what you thought of the episode thanks for watching like comment subscribe later <laughs>